Hey guys, it's Benny again. Now the IDC25 has a number of different fault indicators that can let you know when something's going wrong. Now while they are all in the manual, who could be bothered reading? So I thought, why not whack it together in a video? If the charging LED is solid red, which is very unlikely, generally this means that the unit is faulty and you should contact projector as soon as you can. If the charging LED is amber and flashing, this means that the bulk charge stage has timed out. Now this could be a dead battery, so you should get it tested to make sure that it's taking on charge, or you may be charging with too much load connected to the battery, so remove some of it and try again. If the charging LED is solid red and you also have a blue flashing battery type LED, this means that your battery has been reversely connected. Check your connections and make sure they're correct. If the charging LED is red and flashing and you also have a blue flashing battery type LED, this means that there is an over voltage at your battery. Check the voltage on your battery and make sure it's within spec. If you have a solid amber charging LED, as well as a blue flashing battery type LED, this is an output open circuit or a dead battery. This means that the connections between the unit and the battery are either faulty or there's less than five volts in the battery. If you have a solid red solar light, this means that your solar panel is reversely connected. Once again, check the connections and make sure they're correct. If your solar LED is red and flashing, this means you have an over voltage at your solar input. Basically it means you've got over 28 volts coming in from your panel. If the alternator LED is solid red, this means that your alternator input is reversely connected. Black to red, red to black. Check your connections and fix them up. If your alternator LED is red and flashing, this means there's an over voltage at your alternator. Check the vehicle battery voltage and make sure your alternator is outputting its voltage within spec. Now that's just one of our expert tips on the IDC25. If that didn't solve your issue, or for more troubleshooting help, check out the links in the description below. Now if you learned something from this video, give it a like. And if there's any questions you want answered, just put them in the comments below. For more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and come and say good day in the Projector Switched On Tech Talk group. I'll see you next time guys.